Hello, Ron. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. It's lovely to meet you. It's a pleasure. Um, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming in the UK. Um, maybe we could just start by talking about where we are currently in beautiful Marrakesh. How does it feel to be here and be part of the festival? Well, it's my first time in the festival and uh, right first the, the way you are received here is absolutely incredible. So, but let's go further. The, uh, no, I'm very happy with the selection, you know, there is a big diversity of uh, film. You have uh, film from all over the world, you have a uh, very different type of film, which is uh, very interesting. And also it's all first or second feature. It means that you discover people you right, heard maybe once, but uh, and it's uh, really interesting to see what cinema will be maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And what do you think the importance is of film festivals? You know, uh, I know what I what I owe to owe. Mm -hmm. Is that the word? Yeah. Yeah. So I know what I owe to to festivals. My first film has been uh, uh, shown in a lot of festivals. I had few awards, and uh, I know that it gave me the the first maybe the uh, it allowed me to, to trust myself a little bit and also it allowed film to be shown all over the world and it was very important for for the the the, the next one mm -hmm. uh, and it's important also because uh, you know you you show film to people who don't know anything about it and uh, every spectator has to to make his own uh, idea of the film without being taught by someone that right this is a good film or this is not a good film and that is a very interesting way to to discover a film and what do you look for in a good film what aspects do you look at to judge them very difficult to say because I think Depending on the film, you, you 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 are moved by something. In another one, you can be interested by something. And but right, usually, uh, emotion is what I what I'm looking for, and also to be surprised by by what I discover, uh, which is not very often the case, you know, because right, cinema is uh, has a lot of uh, uh, right. There have been so many films made that uh, it's sometimes difficult to find something new. But it, and also what interests me is to discover things. Uh, films that interest me mostly are films that give a point of view on the world as it is working today and the complexity of this world and the complexity of being a human being in this, uh, in this world. And uh, right, you can find that in, in a documentary film, but you also can find it in the most uh, melodramatic film. And, and that's what I like in cinema, it's that even through very different um, way of uh, looking at the reality, uh, you can um, you can find this, this interest. And, you know, you won the Palme d'Or in 2008 for the class. Yeah. What are your memories and reflections on making that film? And what did winning that award mean for you in the film and your career? You know, when we started to make the film, it was more like an experimentation. We didn't even know if a film would come out. Uh, I started by writing a script, but very... Uh, w w with the idea that the work will start as soon as we start working with the with the actors, and uh, right after a few moments of rehearsal or improvisation with the actors, uh, I had the feeling that something could happen, but that was all. You know, I didn't know what the film would be, and uh, so it's 
Of course, being selected in Cannes was already a first very good news and very big surprise. And the, the, the following was, of course, one of the most uh, moving moments for, for me and for all the crew, because all the kids were, were in Cannes and all the teachers were there too. And so we, we could share this moment, which was very important because the film was, very, uh, was really uh, a collective work, you know. And uh, I was very happy to be to, re to be with them. Uh, I don't remember exactly, precisely what happened just at the moment of the time. You know, there was such an emotion at that moment. I remember that um, Sean Penn gave the title of the of the film, and I couldn't believe it. And then I remember I went up on the on the stage that Robert De Niro gave me the, the, the palm. But at that moment, I think I even didn't realize I was facing Robert De Niro, you know? And I just had one thing in mind, I will have to speak in this microphone here, so what will I say, you know? And it was, uh, no, it was a great, great mm. moment, yeah. And coming to your latest film, The Workshop, which was also, you worked on with um, Robin Campanillo, who's also done very well with his film uh, yeah. about Act Up movement. Uh, so can you just give us a little bit of an overview of this film and you know what you hope the impact of this one to be? So you want me to, s to pitch the film or...? Yeah, what, like what inspired you to make mm -hmm. this, this particular film? No, oh, in this last film, The L'Atelier, I once more I wanted to give a uh, speech, to, to, speech to, to, to young people because I think uh, we don't listen to them very often. We judge them very often, but don't listen to what they have to say about uh, the life, we, we, the world we built for, for them, you know. And um, I thought the, the one a good situation would be this uh, uh, Work, writing work, workshop where they have to do something together. They have to listen to each other. They have to confront their own idea to the, to the, the idea of the others. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the, this, uh, how do you say, setup was, was very efficient for that. Um, but it was also important, like in all my theory, I think the, the soci sociological aspect of course exists, but I don't want my film looks like uh, uh, like a sociological treaty or, or you know and uh, I think that what interests me is the way uh, an individual an individual mm -hmm. a guy uh, someone can can find his place in in the story find his place in the world in, that we describe and uh, politics interests me when it's at the first person of, uh, you know, I. How do I understand things? How do I live with that? And, and that's also why I always try to have a very strong uh, story behind, the, behind the, 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 the line, the, the, the sociological aspect, mm -hmm. which in this case, uh, they were writing a black novel I thought black novels should contaminate the film and I hope that at the end people are really uh, frightened by what, by what the story becomes, you know. And can you lastly tell us if you're already working on your next project or what it might be? I am working, I'm writing right now, a film that will speak of the danger of social medias, the difficulty to uh, be aware of all the danger they, they represent and especially when you are young and you are just looking for followers for example. Okay fantastic well it's been a real pleasure speaking with you thanks so much and uh, Thank you very much. enjoy the rest of your time in Marrakesh. <laughs>